So the thing with uh, with shreddies is they're they're meant to be eaten crispy, but I like them I like them soggy. So I have to pour the milk on my shreddies 15 minutes before I actually eat them. This is the glamour of the uh, the glamour of the morning anchor job. <laughs> Standing by yourself in the dark at 340. Good morning. So it all starts at about 3.05 a.m. That's when my first alarm goes off. Ideally, that's the only alarm that goes off. Showered had breakfast and gathered my things by 3.40. I've never been a coffee drinker. I call a, uh, a car. So this is when I catch up with our producers and uh, I just try to get 10 minutes of reading done on the way into the office. And by four, I'm Thanks at Chelsea again. Market at New York One. And then it's it's a, a whirlwind of talking to the producers about what we have ahead for the day. Good morning. Were there any cronuts yesterday? Did any cronuts come back here yesterday? Yeah, no cronuts. Is that too much to ask? Uh, going into makeup, having my, my morning chat with Jamie Stelter. Well, but you know how they say, like, don't run from a bear? By 4.30, I'm here at the anchor desk, and we really get into production of our, our news wheels at that point. You've been watching New York One News First. Residents of One Harlem High Rise as part of our look at the mayor's first 100 days. The police commissioner wants a policy in place. I'm Pat Kern, and the news continues in just a moment. This is the other reason that I make sure I have a good breakfast at home and I'm ready to go here, because when, once I'm up here, I'm pretty much cemented here for the next five hours. I'm feeding the news wheel needs of that particular moment. On the other hand, I'm reading the papers because I've been entrusted with the responsibility of summarizing the papers since I started in this chair in September of 1997. Here's a look at some of what's in the papers on this Wednesday morning. I want to start with Al. Yeah, really from 4.30 to 9.30, I'm the sole presence at the anchor desk. 9.30, Roma Torre comes in to take over our midday shift. I'm Pat Kernan. I'm Roma Torre with a New York One Minute. And then at 10 o'clock, I'm on the subway on my way out of here. Go home and climb into bed for my afternoon nap. I'm super protective of my afternoon nap. Can't wait to get to this part of the morning. What happens if you don't get your afternoon nap? Oh, that never happens. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm probably at my crankiest when I wake up for my afternoon nap. If, I'm, if I snap at you in the next half hour, it's the lack of sleep talking. So now we're going back to the subway and then we're headed to WABC for my radio show at five o'clock. 17th floor up there is WABC, so we're uh, just before 4 o'clock, we're headed up for the pre-show meeting, and then we're live with the ride home at 5 o'clock. I'd like to invite you to a 77 WABC. All right, let's take a look at some of the stories that uh, have, uh, have caught my eye in the past 24 hours, things I've been watching today. Oscar-nominated actress is joining us now. We're back to do it again tomorrow, Maureen. 5.57 now, uh, news coming up next at the top of the hour. 6.15 now, done with the radio show. I'm gonna jump on the subway, head home, spend some time with my family, and then do it all again tomorrow.